Hi friends, we are working on subtraction strategies this week. One subtraction strategy we can use to help us solve our subtraction equations is using our number line. So we can use our number line to subtract. Let's read this subtraction sentence together. It says five, take away, three equals. So remember with subtraction, we always start with the bigger number. So we're going to find that bigger number first on our number line. So I circled the bigger number five on my number line and I'm going to take three away. I'm going to count backwards on my number line because it's subtraction and I'm taking away. So I'll start by circling five on my number line and counting backwards three. So one, two, three. I've landed on the number two. I'm going to circle that number. So five, take away one, two, three, equals two. Let's try a couple more. My first problem here says six, take away or minus three equals. So remember, we always start with that bigger number in subtraction. So I'm going to start by circling or putting a dot on that number I'm, I'm starting with and taking away the, the number, the next number. So six, take away three. So I'm gonna do three hops or take away three and see what number I land on. So let's do that. Six, take away one, two, three. What number did I land on? You're right, three. Six, take away three is three. All right, let's try a couple more. This one says eight, take away five equals. So once again, I start with that bigger number. I'm going to circle it, put a dot on it, put my finger on it, whatever works well for you. And then I'm going to either hop or draw lines, whatever works well for you, but I'm going to do five away. So one, two, three, four, five. What did I land on? I'll give you a moment to either use your finger on the computer or maybe you have a number line at home or circling. What did you what did you find? That's right, eight minus or take away five equals three. Awesome. All right, let's see. Our next problem says ten take away or minus two equals. So once again, the subtraction we start with that bigger number. So I'm going to circle that bigger number I'm starting with, and I'm going to take two away. So I'm going to hop one, two, down my number line, and I land on, that's right, the number eight. So there are many ways we can use to solve subtraction problems, and one way is we can use our number line. Later.